I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel passage tells us that the teaching of Jesus made a deep impression on his hearers because he taught them with authority. Where did the authority of Jesus come from? It did not stem from any human source. Rather, Jesus knew very well that he was anointed and sent on his mission by his heavenly Father. Moreover, Jesus, though he was entirely human, was entirely God too. It was this divine authority conferred on him by the Father that Jesus used to cast out the evil spirit as we read in today's gospel. This authority is even recognized by the evil spirit who cries out, What do you want to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. All of Jesus' words and actions were able to make a strong impact on others. He was able to command not only human beings and evil spirits, but also the forces of nature. When he calmed the storm, the people exclaimed, Who is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? Dear friends, Jesus gives us all a share in his authority, giving us the power and the privilege of acting in his name. Therefore, every act and word of a Christian should reflect this authority, an authority which is not dominating over others, but which reaches out to serve. This authority also helps us to engage in spiritual warfare, in trampling down the attacks of the devil in our lives. We read in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, See, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. The Catechism of the Catholic Church number 943 says, By virtue of their kingly mission, lay people have the power to uproot the rule of sin within themselves and in the world by their self-denial and holiness of life. Dear brothers and sisters, we must rely on the power and authority of Christ in both the great and the small things that we do, which include even our daily responsibilities, our work, our positions, our dealings with others and so on. We read in the letter to the Romans chapter 13 verse 1, There is no authority except from God. Jesus told Pilate, You would have no authority over me unless it had been given you from above. Let us pray for the power of Christ in all that we do, so that we can say with St. Paul, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.